All right, guys, what we got here today is I got some walnut. And unfortunately, it's not a good thing. Um, my daughter's dog had to be put down due to cancer. And so she is cremated into ashes. And she wants an urn. So I'm going to turn her an urn. And I will do this um, out of walnut and possibly resin. Let's see how it looks when I get in the inside of it. So, without further ado, let's get to turning. All right, guys, so I have turned this back, um, flipped it over, and what I've revealed is it filled in a lot of the holes, but some of the holes, some of the areas have air bubbles in them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a coat of red across this and just push it into the holes. To try and get all those filled up so that when I turn it back, I'll just barely expose some of the red. That's what I'm looking for. Yes, this is a messy process. <laughs> I could have uh, got another mold and recast it, the whole entire thing. Um, I just didn't feel like wasting that much resin, as long as you don't get it on your chuck. The only purpose of this is to fill all the holes. I've got a pretty good coat on that. So I'm going to use the heat gun to pop some of the bubbles. <laughs> So, we've got the urn turned and sealed, and now I'm going to cut a lid for it.
kind of missed out on the opportunity here because I forgot to hit the start record button. But what I did is this is a purple heart finial. And I applied heat to it with a heat gun. Now, if you apply too much heat, you'll burn it. But if you apply just enough heat, you'll get this nice purple color, hence purple heart. Um, but what we're going to do now is apply a finish coat. I've sanded it down to uh, 400. And I'm going to put this, uh, it's a um, Alimbalite's Amazing Quick Coat Epoxy. And I've been playing with this stuff, and it's a really good product. If you have the opportunity, I highly recommend it for a finish. Uh, say you can do other stuff with it. I just haven't played with that portion of it yet. And it's two equal parts by volume. Now we're going to apply a coat to this. I got this on my rotisserie because I didn't want to spin it so fast. And you just want a thin coat. Go for it. You need a thin, even coat. What I'm going to do before I use this stuff other places is I'm going to apply a little heat to it. This is the final product here. Got a finial on top. Go deep. You really see that purple heart in that. Turned out pretty good. So if you got any questions about it, please don't hesitate to comment, uh, like, and subscribe if you want to see some more content like this. If you all have any questions, comments, anything, please don't hesitate to put down below. I will respond. Um, again, this is a walnut um, urn with red resin. Um, like I said, it turned out pretty good. The red resin really comes out in it. I can't tell red, but it does look like a different color. My wife says it's beautiful, so I have to take her word for it. <laughs> All right, y'all have a good one. I'll see you on the next one.